Over 300 applicants, so many to go through. Well, someone doesn't have work in the morning, so you should have plenty of time to go through them. By now, you should know who I am. But for those of you new to the series, my name is Limey Crickets, and it is my sworn duty to bring to light how an aspiring young filmmaker like yourself can make their first film. So far, we have gone through writing the script, script breakdown, casting calls, and online tutorials. Now, Clint has over 300 applications to go through to cast a perfect husband and wife. Clint is screening his applicants and narrowing down his choices to candidates he feels look right for the role. The next logical step would be to narrow it down even more by having potential clients send in a self-tape, also known as a video audition, before having an in-person audition. Right, time to set up the in-person auditions. Narrow it down to 30 or so candidates. Send them the time, place, and lines to read. One thing I've learned is that when Clint screws up, it is useful for a moment of quiet contemplation with a cup of coffee or some other powerful beverage. However, I have all the confidence that Clint will find the actors he needs, albeit taking a bit longer. When conducting auditions, it's important to stagger them in intervals of one another. That way, actors aren't intimidated by each other and remain in the right headspace. Having them set at 10 to 15 minute intervals is a good place to start. This was the first and last time Clint made this mistake. Is Toby here? Toby, hi, you're next. Come on in. It's a good idea to record the audition and make notes on the performance. That way, it will help later to make a proper decision on the right candidate. Hey, hey Toby, hey, glad you could make it. Thanks. Hope you uh, found a place and didn't have any trouble. Clint, being a past performer, knows just how nerve-wracking these auditions can be. That's why he never jumps right into it. Instead, he likes to ease the tension with a little friendly banter. Hey, you're wearing blue. I like blue. Yeah, it's like a Billy in the Power Rangers. I watch Power Rangers. I love it. The Red Ranger's the best. Like Jason, because he does the spin kicks, and he's the leader, right? I can do spin kicks. Paula can't do spin kicks, but. She's like the Blue Ranger. See, she's wearing blue too. So <laughs> it's all fine because that's why the Red Ranger is better than the Blue Ranger. Because you could do spin kicks. Yeah, yeah so uh, Paula will uh, read lines with you and uh, we'll start. Okay. Okay. Tell me when you're ready. Ready? Settle. Action. What the hell is going on? Shh. You talk too much. Always with the blah, 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 blah. You think I'm boring because I, I don't talk? I don't talk much. But the truth is, I don't give a f I don't give a f about what you're saying. It's just so boring. Uh, when, when, when you uh, uh... talk, I can actually feel my brain choking itself into unconsciousness. You believe I'm the problem. So if I change, things are going to be magical. Huh? Well, how you like me now? Am I lively enough for you? So, what do you think about my performance? Yeah, the best, 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 best. best. Uh, I, uh, I, I'll be in, in, in touch with, with the results, with the results. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. She's good. She has no. so much. Uh, no. But come on, Paula, she has so much no. talent. Talent. She, she can read? Yeah, no. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that girl. That's a full body boy. Jeez. <clears throat> Excuse me. As you can see, it's important not to get distracted from the task at hand. When casting for a role, it's important we focus not simply on looks, but also, and most importantly, acting talent. Forgive me from getting distracted from my sworn duty. It happened to the breast of the best of us. Oh, something, huh? Oh, okay, but I think uh, there was at least two decent candidates and I believe I found our husband and wife. Yeah, yes. Oh wait, Roger didn't even audition yet. He was supposed to be here 10 minutes ago. Hey, uh, 
sorry I was late. Um, you won't believe this hottie is just outside. Oh, uh, did, did she audition? Sh she gonna be my screen wife? <laughs> um, one, one step at a time, Roger. Let's, um, let's get this audition done first. Sure, yeah, okay. Let's do this. Uh, settle. Are you ready? Yeah. Action. What the hell is going on? Shh! You talk too much. Always with the blah 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 blah. You think I'm boring? Just because... Uh, line... Just... Give me one sec. Sorry. Don't talk much. You think I'm boring because I don't talk much? Uh... <laughs> Am I lively enough? Okay, we're done here. Uh, thanks a lot, Roger. Uh, that was... That was something. <clears throat> something great, right? <clears throat> yeah. So, when do we start shooting? Uh, hey, didn't you say you got this big feature movie role? I mean, that has to be pretty big. Why would you do this? Oh, that. That's fine. I, I get these roles all the time. No problem if I turn that one down. You know, I'll just get another one. But family comes first, right? <laughs> uh, oh, okay, Roger. Then uh, we have to review uh, all the candidates. And then we'll, we'll get back to you with results. Yeah, yeah, sure. Do what you gotta do. But keep me in mind, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll wait for you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, you, 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 have sure. to, you have to go. Okay. 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 All right. Anyway, get up. See you guys. So I'm leaning towards these two. Yeah, agreed. Talented and fit the role perfectly. By the way, this package came for you. Oh, cool. I think it's the gear ordered. I'll be ready for my shoot next week. How long do you think it'll take to finish everything? It's a four-page script, so I would say one hour per page, but just to be safe, I would say two hours, since it's my first time. Include breaks, I would, we wrap in eight hours. What do you want to do for meals? Oh, pizza? Oh, hell no! I used to be an actor. Sometimes we would get horrible food. Sometimes even no food. No. Only the best for our actors. Plus, it's the four of us. Let's order some gourmet food. It won't be pricey. You'll pay. We'll pay. <clears throat> it's in good practice to ensure your actors are treated as well as possible, especially if they're volunteering their time. By ensuring there's gourmet food, only calling them on set in the times they are needed, and looking forward to their every need as long as it's within reason are some of the ways to get the best out of them. Once you're getting the most of your actors and they're well kept, you will get the best performance, and if needed, they won't mind if the performance tends to go a little longer than usual. Such is the case on this episode. 